What is good, everybody? Today we are back with a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Man, been a long time since we've been out of the lab. Very excited to get back into it with you. Got a pretty exciting day here. Got some cool fix-ups and things to complete here today. And there's a specific, I think there's a specific fix-up that I'm saving until episode 100 that I almost did today. But I was like, you know what, we'll just put it off. And I think I need some more, I don't even know what term I want to use. But we're, we're going to wait on that one. But we have some really awesome stuff here today. Very excited to get into it with you. Wanted to do surgery surgery yesterday, but could not find the time, so I do apologize for that. However, man, today we are looking at a pretty damn good day, and Dr. Whitekiss is ready to get going. But what we're going to do is we're going to be customizing and fixing up all these figures here today. If you guys didn't know that, well, check out the full playlist of action figure surgery. Plenty of episodes for you there, but what we're going to do is start off by going through every single figure and fix up that we're going to do, explain it kind of, exactly what I'm thinking, and then we will proceed with said fix ups. And we always start with the guy on the stretcher, and that would be this ultimate edition Cody Rhodes. Now, I did, I think this is my third version of this figure, and the only reason that I bought three of them, I, I do have one mint on card. I don't know if I'm going to keep it mint on card or if I'm going to open it later, but this is one of my favorite Ultimate Editions that Mattel's ever done. I love this figure. I think it's fantastic, and I bought this one specifically for the torso, and I was, I only bought it for the torso for a specific custom, and the custom that it's going to go towards may be the best of all time. However, the other parts that are with this figure, I don't want to just completely waste them. So I figured, you know what, man? Let's take these boots. You guys can see. We do have these boots on here. They have the gold accents. They have the Ultimate Edition articulation. It is the brand new Cody Rhodes boot mold sculpt. And I played around with it and was like, what figure am I going to put this on? And I had an extra Top Talents Cody laying around. So I said, you know what? We're going to put these boots over here. So I think that'll be a really like, dude, sometimes the simplest fix-ups are the ones that you want to do. And I think that that is one that I'm going to do. So I mean, I'm going to take this. Since I already have a regular Ultimate Edition Cody and I have one on card and all those things. I'm going to do a boot swap here between these two before I send that torso off to be customized. So we will see exactly what comes of that in the future. And so, you know, you just got to put things out there. Next up, you have some pretty cool stuff here. One thing that I learned about this Trash Corbin, and it makes for a pretty damn good suited body. I don't want... I don't want Trash Corbin in this basic suited body. It is a basic, but we're going to be head swapping it with the Super 7 Matt Cardona. Look at that right there. That's going to look pretty damn good. We're going to have a Matt Cardona in this brown suit right there. I believe he wore something similar on GCW, if I'm not mistaken, or I, it may not have even been at an event, but I've seen him wear something similar, and I had the extra head sculpt laying around, so I am going to be putting this head on here. Now, head sculpt's not going to completely match everything, but I can always fix the hands, you know, put some different hands in there, whatever, but that's going to be a pretty cool fix up I think as well just doing a simple head swap there between those two we also have some other stuff going on I actually have some stuff off camera as well that I want to do but I'm going to attempt to take this build a figure Rick Rude in suit right here I'm going to be attempting to take this and this Muhammad Ali in suit from the Legends of the Territory four pack and this makeshift Jimmy Hart mean gene little thing here and I'm going to do my best to combine all three of these figures together to create a suited Cody figure. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. I also gave him this. I, I was going to put the screaming head sculpt on there. It'll probably just be a placeholder until I can track down another Cody Rhodes. Or maybe I probably have some sort of Cody Rhodes laying around. I just got to find it. But I'm going to do my best to merge these three figures together. And we'll kind of explain that as we go through it. But for now, that's all you need to know. You need to know that we're going to attempt to combine these three figures to create a suited Cody. And it may look dumb. And if it looks dumb, I fail miserably. Won't be the first, won't be the last. That, that has happened on WWE Action Figure Surgery. So we will just have to live with that possibly. So we'll have to say about all that, but that is certainly something we're going to attempt today is sort of a Frankenstein effort suited Cody. And there's probably a better formula out there, but you know what, Brad? Sometimes you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. We'll see what comes of it. But next up, another figure excited with what the hell am I saying? Another figure I'm excited about. I'm gonna take the Elite 109 Seth Rollins figure here, and I'm gonna create a fantasy attire Seth. I found a really good deal for this figure, so I picked up quite a few of them and I already had a few of the Elite 99 Rollins. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be arm swapping this, these white wrist tape arms. So just stay with me here. White wrist tape arms on the gold attire. We're going to lower leg swap between these kick pads with the gold and white over here. And then I'm going to switch the knee pads from these crosshatch gold ones to Elite 45 Seth Rollins knee pads. So can you kind of see what we're going with there? It may look dumb. You know what? It may fall flat on its face again, but we're going to attempt it anyway. I think we're going to have a really cool, I don't know, fix-up attire. And I think
think I may put these knee pads over here and these kick pads over here. So we'll have like a two-in-one sort of fantasy attire. You see that? So just switching those and adding a couple bells and whistles, we can create two complete new Seth Rollins figures just based off some sw some simple swaps. So that should be really fun right there. We're moving on forward, Brad. We do have a Stone Cold Steve Austin. And basically what this is, is we are going to... I, since I have so many of the Monday Night Wars Elite, I figure why not take the Monday Night, Night Wars Elite and just merge these two together. So instead of having this get up with jeans, it'll be this get up in the jorts. I think that'll be a really simple and easy thing to do. And I think it'll add to it, man. You give them like a, a Monday Night Raw mic or something like that, and I think that could actually work pretty damn good so we're going to be doing that as well i also have this silver jacket that i got from a ray phoenix aew figure i'm going to be putting it on the SummerSlam at dolph ziggler elite one of my favorite elites ever from mattel going to be putting this jacket on here i think that will really pop kind of give you that you know that almost probably like near 2020 version of dolph ziggler right there i think that'll be a pretty cool swap again very very simple not the most you know crazy headaches or anything like that very easy and stuff to do so we're going to be doing that also at the end here i did get this and we did a short on this if you guys want a more detailed look probably we have this bret hart ultimate edition seth rollins that i got from mania fig and this figure is so sick man so it's basically the ultimate seth it's got pink tights it's got white kick pads it's got the bret hart jacket on it it did come with the glasses and different things but it comes with this closed eyes custom head sculpt i'm going to be head swapping it with this gritting face i'm going to put the glasses on the gritting face and put this on here so the eyes closed head sculpt can go on the ultimate edition so the closed eyes head sculpt will go on the ultimate this gritting face will go here and then the glasses will go in there and it'll kind of be i don't know just that pissed off glasses on head sculpt will work better for bret hart i think and then the closed eyes head sculpt will look better on the ultimate edition like the normal ultimate with the with the robe and everything think that'll make for a pretty sweet figure as well so that's pretty basic nothing crazy there but that is something i also wanted to do and last but not least we have our rock figure now the rock figure back there we're going to just be doing a head swap with. And that should also be very, very simple. Shouldn't be too crazy. So he, this, this head sculpt right here is doing the people's eyebrow. This one back here is doing a smirk and doesn't look good. So head swapping these, putting the sunglasses on there. Very simple, very easy. Live better, shop easy, whatever the hell I'm saying, Walmart. You know what I mean? Unless, man, that does it for all the things we're going to do here today. So let's move everything back. Shut the hell up and dive into WWE action figure surgery. All right, man, our first order of business should be very simple, man. I mean, this is what we got going on. Like, look at this goofy, just goofy, like straight out of Disney goofy head sculpt that we have going here. It's not that bad, but I certainly don't like the little smirk. I'd rather him be kind of like, you know, stern here. So we're going to pop this head sculpt off of this rock. We're going to take this ultimate head sculpt here. This looks so much better that it's not even funny, man. Not even funny. I'm going to pop this ultimate head sculpt on here. Look at that right there, dude. That is already one trillion times better. Putting the glasses on there, look at that. That looks like he is about to just beat the hell out of you. That is that simple. Sometimes those are the kind of fix-ups you want to do, man. It does not take much. You ain't gotta, you know, you don't have to pay the damn trusty hairdryer overtime to come in here and do a fix-up for no reason. This man, you can just fix him up right there with a simple head swap. And now we can throw this head sculpt the hell out in the yard. Next up, another very simple and easy head swap is going to be the Bret Hart head sculpt here. Now, this is customized by Mania Figs. Very cool head sculpt, I think, that Mattel... We have had one eyes closed head sculpt before. I think it was the Hulk Hogan out of the Mega Powers 2-pack for the ringside exclusive. And I think they should do more stuff like this, especially... I, I think they could do that for Rock. You know, that's one of my favorite things the Rock does is when he gets up on the turnbuckle and closes his eyes. You could do it for Roman, I bet. You could do it on a bunch of different guys. So, I think that is something that Mattel should possibly explore explore but here we go we're gonna put the closed eyes head sculpt here and again we're doing all the stuff that's simple first because i think that it adds to it you know there's no reason to we don't need to get crazy you know some things are simple some things are tougher than others i'll save this seth rollins head sculpt for a rainy day we'll put him in the rainy day fund over there and then last but not least we do have to get our grimacing head sculpt with the bret hart glasses and we'll throw this on here so it should be really simple and easy and i think this is this is the best for the display i think you know this just I need somebody to do a Bret Hart versus Seth Rollins little feud and they're fed. And then, boom, you can have him dress up like this and mock him. I think that would look pretty damn good, Brad. And I'm sure it's been done before. I don't know about Seth Rollins dressing up like Bret Hart, but I have seen... I'm sure somebody has booked that match before. There you go. We'll look at him at the end. I think that was the right move there. I love the Randy Orton entrance hands, man. They're the best. I think everything else requires heat, if I'm not mistaken. But one thing that doesn't is this Dolph Ziggler. Now, I do like this hoodie here. The I'm... I'm it's too bad I'm too good. 
you know, but that was from like 2015, something like that. So we are going to go ahead and pop this jacket off. Uh, he's got the damn entrance hands, so it's hard to God in heaven. All right, got to pull these hands out. And now we can slide the jacket off. And I do like that jacket, but I think the silver one's really going to just make it pop. So we're going to put this on here. I know it's not necessarily surgery, but I mean, we're fixing figures up here, man. So you get off my back. How about that? Like, this isn't action figure closet. Yeah, but it, it's action figure, uh, whatever the hell I, I say it is. All righty. We'll take a closer look at Zig. I did not like the way I said that. We'll look at him at the end. So we do have Ziggler there in the jacket. All right, I think everything else is going to require heat of some kind. And maybe not the suit. Hold up. Let's let's try the suited Cody real quick. The suited Cody mismatch, because I don't think... This may not require any heat either, because all these figures are Build-A-Figures. And I'll show you what I was thinking here. So if you pop this off, now we have khaki pants. This is the base for our Cody. Now, I don't know if this is going to work like I stated, but we're going to try it in anyway and how that's gonna work is we're gonna pull these arms out of this Rick Rude here we're trying to get this white suit with the red tie is what I'm trying to do god in heaven that arm's stuck in there god dude I cannot get that Jesus Christ was this a terrible idea or what all right, I finally pulled that apart. That sounded god-awful, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Like, this is my thought process here, but if I can't get this damn arm off, that's going to be atrocious. Dude, that is stuck in there, and usually... All right, I got it, but usually those things are tough to get out of there. Anybody that's done these older school builder figures dude, sometimes they are not your mama's easy-peasy lemon squeezy. Why the hell is that black? Is that going to matter, though? I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it's going to matter. Hold up. Got to do this weird technique to push this damn torso so out of here. I'm already having damn anxiety about taking apart this brick root. Now I feel like I gotta go spend whatever the hell it costs to fix this brick root. I probably already had. There's probably an easier way to do this and a better formula, but at this juncture, uh, I didn't spend a ton of time thinking about the formula. You know, sometimes action figure surgery just comes real fast. <sighs> Sometimes I think of things quickly, and sometimes things are brewing for months, and sometimes they work out, even though they are fast. I will cut to when I get this damn thing out of here. Alright, that's what it looks like. Looks god-awful. Alright, but this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna take this off of here. Oh my Jesus, are we doing this again? Brother, it's supposed to be a Build-A-Figure. Why is that not coming out? All right, pull the Navy arm off. Pull the Navy arm off. Why is this not separating from here? All right, if this comes off, it won't matter. If I can just get this off, it won't matter. I don't need the legs. Yeah! All right, we got that. There's that. We got lots of lots of bodies. Lots of bodies. I had a funny joke, but I just I just I'll just keep it. I'll keep it on ice. I should just let it fly. We'll, we'll, we're gonna chill out. We're gonna shove this up into here. Lord in heaven, it's too early for all that. I need pliers, like. Sid from Toy Story. Alright, there we go. Now plug this into here. Dude, will this modern Build-A-Figure leg even go in here? I bet it won't. I bet it won't. Sure won't. Look at that. I don't think it will. Damn. Sure won't, Brad. Jesus. Can you see the vision? Can you see the vision? I'll sit it on there. I'll show you guys at the end and I'll just sit it on there and you guys can tell me what you think. Alright, man, I think the rest of our shish does require heat. So finally, the white trusty hair dryer can get involved. We do gotta heat up this brown suited trash Corbin so we can get that Matt Cardona head sculpt on there. We are going to move all this shish out of the way because I don't like my... You got to keep the damn surgery table clean, man. You don't need all this shish just laying around. We are going to put this here. I think that we can heat up the boots here of Cody. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. So we'll lay him about like that. God, I feel like I'm so zoomed in, man. We're going to heat that up. We do have to heat up the Ultimate Edition boots of the Cody as well. So we will be heating this up like that. And then I am going to unfortunately have to heat up this stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt. So I am going to remove the necklace from here because I don't... Man, I, I don't know if I've told you this in a while if you're new around here. Don't ever heat up anything like this with a hair dryer while it's wearing any accessories. You want to strip it down. So you want to take the shirt off, take the accessories off. It's just not a good idea, man. You never know the heat. Like, you never know what items can just melt or just mold or ruin. So you just want to really be precautious. So that's what... Uh, that's what we teach around here, man. We are going to heat this head sculpt up. It should be relatively simple there. So we got a head swap. We got the boot swap. And then Seth Rollins. I am going to be heating up these arms right here to pop them onto the other. And I don't think that it should be that crazy. However, I'm going to go ahead and remove the Seth Rollins head sculpt from the Elite 109. That way we can like heat up the arms right here. Hopefully this heats up everything. I don't think, like I can't heat up the arms and the legs at the exact same time 
time. It's just not going to be possible. So we are going to have to do that separately, unfortunately. But at least we can heat up these arms. But let's get the white trusty hair dryer. Let's put it in here. And let's see if we can, in fact... God, the white trusty hair dryer came, un came unplugged. What the hell is even that? <sighs> Hopefully this turns out smoothly. Alrighty, Brad, let's see if we indeed did it long enough right here. Easy arm pop right there. Really don't like that they changed the newer arms because you can't just, you know, you can, but it's not the same. It's a little difficult, but we do have to put these white wrist tape arms on too. All right, I'll leave that there onto the Seth Rollins. Shouldn't be that difficult here. Just like that. You just don't want that gap, man. Whatever you do, just don't have that gap and everything should be right in the world. There we go. And then we're going to pop this onto here. And then now I think he's ready for his lower body to be switched. And then what else we got? Let's see. Uh, the boot swap right here. I'm going to pop this off right here. Very clean and easy so far. That will be shipped off now. We have the Stone Cold Steve Austin head swap right here. And I don't have to do anything because the Monday Night Wars head is, you know, easily swappable. But I did have to heat up that old school head sculpt. That's a very old, you know, head sculpt right there. But now we have our boot swap right here. Easy money right here on the Cody Rhodes. I'm going to pop this Ultimate Edition boot in here. Pop this Ultimate Edition boot in here. I hope they do like Roman Reigns and they start putting these on just elites randomly. All right, now we have to... I do want to switch this hand right here. It's going to bother me. Not having a fist there. We'll put the mic holding hand here. Not the biggest deal. It's certainly going to bother the hell out of me. I wish that white wrist tape was longer, to be honest, but we'll just have to build a bridge and get over that one, Brad. And then we have Trash Corbin's head sculpt here. Don't care if it snapped nothing. Actually, I did because if I didn't, then it uh, would have been bad, but let's just put this on here. And I'll show you guys what this looks like at the end. We got a lot of figures here today, man. A lot of figures. A lot of very simple stuff, but very elegant. Now, what we have here for the finale is going to be our kick pad swap. And we also got to fix up our Austin. All right, so I do need to go ahead and prep this. And we have our Elite 45 Seth Rollins knee pads that need to go on this figure. So we are going to slide this up. This little piece, I'm not going to include this little, uh, this knee piece right here, the little extension. We're going to leave that out. It doesn't matter that much to me. So we're going to heat this up and then I will hold on to this, but it's not imperative to the swap. All right, I'm going to heat this up, swap these lower legs, and then we will switch them over. All right, man, hopefully this works out pretty good here now. Switching lower legs when it's got that amount of heat is always painful. It can be painful, but we're going to take that peg out right there. God, and having peg launched across the room, but luckily it didn't go that far. All right, and then we are going to switch this lower leg, and I am going to slide that knee pad out. Uh, God in heaven. Got that one off like that. We're going to put that little knee thing over there then we got that oh man it's always a struggle like you never know how damn difficult this could be should i just should i just have done a boot swap hold up probably should have just done a boot swap man it's possible maybe not though we'll see we'll see how it goes hopefully everything turns out all right all right we're gonna put this knee pad up here slide that up and i know the golds aren't gonna match but again like it was kind of a not a hail mary but it was a it was kind of like a attempt this man let's see what happens you know what i'm saying throw some shish at the wall we say throw a hail mary we're trying to see if this is plausible if this would work and so sometimes you just gotta you gotta risk it man so there is that and then we do want to put these elite 45 seth rollins knee pads onto this figure this is the right side here we're going to slide this up as far as it can go. See, this would prevent this. If I just did a kick pad swap, I just could have popped the boots off, slid the knee pads off, slid them on. Would have been a real easy time. Now, honestly, seems like it's going to be kind of bummy. So we, again, we'll see. But maybe it'll work. Maybe it will work. We'll see here. Oh, God. Oh, dude. Jesus in heaven. This shish ain't hot enough. All right, so now I'm going to slide the knee pad off and then try to do it this way. Because it's really it's really no different now that we're doing it this way. Because then I could just pop the kick pad back on after popping the knee pad back on. I don't think this is going to go up in here. It's not soft enough. Mm, I don't think it's going to be pliable enough. Oh, it's close. Did we get it? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, we actually got it. Holy shish. Had to use my teeth, but we made it happen. Very dangerous. Don't attempt this at home, like the WWE commercial. I had five knee surgeries. 
Are you shitting me? Dude, I just put the wrong... I just put the wrong lower leg on that side, bro. What a clown. That is the right lower leg. But why does it look fine? That's weird. Why does that look okay? That's very odd. This is clearly the left foot. See what I'm saying? But it doesn't look bad. Like, look at this lower leg. It doesn't look bad at all. That's weird. Anyway, man, I'm moving on to Austin, and we'll come back to Rollins. Rollins, I'll show him at the end, god dang. Lord in heaven. Alright, Austin, I'm gonna leave his hat on right there. All we have to do is legitimately remove these accessories. Should not be a thing, and then we'll have a good, you know, a good body here to use for a later date. I'm gonna pull this shirt off right here. I'm so hyped for the two Austins we're getting this year in the, in the jorts. We got the Monday Night Wars Elite that's coming in the next set two sets from now and then we do have should put bigger arms on here probably but we'll live with it and then we have the smackdown four pack which should be hitting dude i don't know about like any day but i mean it's got to be coming soon i know they they marked it down on clearance online and i did order i think i ordered two because it was on clearance and i usually don't pre-order as you guys know but i figured since i'm getting 20 bucks off or whatever that was might as well cash in the money in the bank briefcase and then if we find it on a toy hunt we'll live with that See, now I can kind of like make it look tucked in and then put the jacket on there. Anyways, we'll look at Austin at the end with the rest of our shish. And since I effed up the Rollins, I'm going to have to, I'm also going to have to fix him. But nonetheless, let's look at everything we did here today on action figure surgery. All right, man, here's everything we did today. Damn good day. Damn good day of surgery right here, man. Let's take a look at everything we have. So here's our two Seth Rollins. You can tell me which one you like more. I know that the golds don't match all the way, but I think it kind of adds to the, I don't know, it kind of adds to the attire. I like the gold and white better than this black and gold one over here. I just, I, I don't know, like, whatever reason. I don't think either of them look bad per se, but I think this one looks better. I do like the blonde with the gold and the white. It just looks very, I don't know, it just looks like a king or something. He looks very sick. I like this one a hell of a lot. This little fantasy attire, I know they're both fantasy attires, but you can take your pick. You like the black mane or do you like the gold mane with the white? I think the gold with the white looks better, but that, I mean, vision came to fruition, man. The visionary, I mean, it came, it came to fruition. I think that the premonition was valid. Look at it right there. I like that. So both Seth Rollins actually turned out pretty damn good in my opinion. I like both of those. Here's the Austin that turned out very good. This looks effing fantastic. Now that's that's what I'm talking about. You see on the shirt how I kind of folded it up in the back? This is how Austin should look, man. Look at the tucked in look without the knee braces. This looks sick as hell. This is one of the most underrated fix-ups we've made here today easily. This looks exactly how you want it to look. That looks clean as hell. I'm very, very happy with the way that Austin turned out. That is just glorious. We need more Austins and Jorts. I don't know how Mattel's not doing it, but there is that. We also have Cardona in our brown jacket suit here, which I know the skin tones don't match the neck necessarily and the, hand, you know, the hands, but Still looks good, and you know, it scales with Mattel Elites, man. So there you go. If you want to have like a Mattel Elite, you know, Matt Cardona display or whatever, or you know what, I know it's a basic, but you know what I'm saying. It is in scale with your WWE figures. If you want to add this to your display in some way, there is a cool Matt Cardona fix up right there. We do have our Cody Rhodes basic, not basic, you dumb jackass. I mean, it's a basic fix up where it's just the gold Ultimate Edition boots. They look really good with the red attire. I know it's not the most exciting thing ever, but I really love a, a damn good boot swap, man. So that right there looks epic. I know it's not the biggest deal. It's not the biggest change, but it certainly matters, and I think it looks clean. Like, look at the gold accents right there. Just chef's kiss. Really adds to the figure. We also have Dolph Ziggler here in the silver jacket. Looks magnificent. Looks magnificent. I love it. Thing looks great. I think that this, you know, checks all the boxes that you want it to check. Black hand tape matches the black boots. You have all the bells and whistles, the silver jacket. Would be cool if it had a logo on it, but I think the standard, you know, just very simplistic, that is some of the best stuff you can have is the simplicity of a, you know, a fix-up and a custom figure. So there's that. The rock figure, we, we touched on it when it was done. Look at that. How much better? I don't know why this figure didn't come with this head sculpt. I think that, you know, I know they have to keep remaking head sculpts and reusing them, but when they are good, man, they're so damn good, just redo them, man. Just, just do it again, you know? And I think that is the case here with this rock. I think that the people's eyebrow head sculpt looks so damn good, it's undefeated. Same thing to go with this Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins with the eyes closed. Another great one. 
I know it, it looks weird. It looks like he, hey, look, he fell asleep. He fell asleep. But, you know, it, if he's doing his entrance, it'll look better. But for this case, I think that looks nice. But just imagine a WrestleMania 18 rock or like 2001 rock, man. You have him with the eyes closed, like using that WrestleMania 18 base. Put him on the turnbuckle for photography. Shish would be just excellent. But we also have our Bret Hart, Seth Rollins. Look at the gritting face with the, with the glasses and the jacket and everything. That looks money. I think that head swap right there between these two ultimate sets was the way to go. It looks amazing. I'm really proud of the way these turned out. I know they're very simplistic, but again, those are the best ones, man. Those are the best ones. And ending it up, we do have our Cody Rhodes in suit. So you can kind of see the vision. Look at the vision over here, man. I want the full body on here. You can kind of see the vision. I know it's not the best head sculpt choice of all time, but it's, you can see the vision. Little Navy Cody looks like he's about to go perform at the damn Scholar Bowl, but that's kind of what I was going for. Like, just, I really enjoy a Navy jacket Red tie, red and blue tie, white shirt, khaki pants, brown loafers. That's a really good uh, suited like suit choice. You have the gold buttons. This is a really good Cody, except it will not connect. There's got to be, I'm sure there is a formula that will connect right there, and this will make this perfect, but for now... He is going to be, uh, I mean, I can still pose him around, I can still sit him there, but he will fall apart because he's not connected. Still looks damn good. I Actually, that may be one of the most underrated as well. This was a damn good day of surgery. Didn't expect all this fire. You know, sometimes, like I said, I have ideas and I'm like, that's going to be sick as hell. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but sometimes you get a damn good day where you get freaking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We did ten 10 custom fix-ups here today, and all of them are fire in their own right, man. But I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Get this guy back here. He doesn't need to cover up everything. But there we go, man. Look at that. Just a great day. What a great day, man. I'd love to know what you think of all these fix-ups down in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I think that is going to wrap up Action Figure episode. Action figure Surgery episode. Is it 97 or 98? Can't remember. I think it's 97. But nonetheless, man, slowly approaching 100. Some of these are so damn heat, they should have waited till episode 100, but... We'll, we'll build a bridge, man. We'll get there. It'll be great. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellows over there. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I appreciate all of you every single day of my lifetime. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.